It's like a toned down version of that old war movie, The Dirty Dozen. Twelve hardened criminals are given the chance to be released from prison if they join the army and survive a suicide mission behind enemy lines. The real life version being premiered on the streets of America is far less fanciful, but equally dramatic. In 2021, Biden's Department of Homeland Security issued a policy designed to prevent or even reverse the deportations of illegal aliens who were convicted of criminal offenses if they served time in the U.S. Armed Forces. Under Donald Trump, the issue was cut and dried. If you were in the United States illegally and you committed any additional criminal offense, you were out of here, no questions or delays. It was off to the airport and on your way home. But the America last criminal coddlers in Sleepy Joe's administration are doing all they can to put those with proven ill intents within easy reach of your spouses and children. Fortunately, there are watchdog organizations in America demanding to know why. One such group, the Immigration Reform Law Institute, has filed a Freedom of Information Act lawsuit against the DHS demanding details of Biden's suicidal, criminal, illegal alien policy. The suit attempts, among other things, to require the Department of Homeland Security to reveal the case histories of those who had been previously deported from the USA, but returned here as a result of Joe Biden's weak-kneed, short-sighted pro-criminal policies. Judging from the over 40 FBI sources citing evidence linking him, his brother James, and his son, Hunter Biden, to criminal activity of their own, Joe Biden has never met a criminal he didn't like. Our job at Restoring Justice U.S. is to prevent history from repeating itself. Learn more of what we are doing and how you can help.